Lockdown. Lockdown. Now I'll reduce your pathetic realms to. We got red sign. If we get a good hand, we could try to. Well. <laughs> Do we ever keep? Uh, can we ever think them out? Uh, I think we can try to keep them. Maybe, maybe we can think them out. So we get rid of the other sentinel. No, I, I think we keep the sentinel because we want we want to fiend them. Do uh, we drop the tempering? Um, or the critters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, let's drop the tempering. The tempering is a better top deck than all critters in the advanced free. And all critters are a good card in one way. Just the seven to four. Oh boy. Oh, it's this this type of a deck. Okay, uh, this might be hard actually. Mm, this deck is really annoying because ideally we would just drop oak critters here. Uh, mm, uh, well, we don't kind of don't have a good play. Mm -mm. Mm. We play this, it dies. Uh, I, I think we still play the miner, but he's gonna amnesty it. But I, I, I don't think we can actually win the round. This hand is really weak, so. Oh, I'm feeling sleepy, grumpy, dopey, and bashful. We, we could have also went for like Banka to set up a rebuke, but like we don't even have a rebuke in hand, so we have to waste call for it, which is really expensive. Yeah, I expected that honestly, but at least now we can lead something. We're probably just gonna give up on the run. Also, if we bleed the miner, we might be able to find the sentinels out, which would be really nice because we don't have a leader. Oh, that's true. We don't have the leader no more, right? Yeah. So, 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 finning would be really nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, if he buffs it or if he like, plays a lot of tempo, that we're not gonna be able to do it. Well, he just plays the. Oh, he goes Diviner. Really? Well, I guess we bleed the Diviner. Ah, no, never mind. He buffed it. Okay, so we bleed the Miner again. We're never, an oak. we're never playing Oak this round, right? Yeah. Is this another... Uh, assimilate friend? I think they just keep a random... Diviner to bust through a defender. Because if they have all this damage yeah. you can't get through a defender, they're screwed. Well, they have a cap better, and he probably plays Vincent too, so it's just useless. Yeah, like he has a cap better literally, so. What but like never snip from the master's table. Never So what if we literally play a freaking chaos and he passes and then we can play a Banka into I can just trade the cameras or something. Doesn't really matter. <clears throat> we, we just give up on the run. We can just trade one more god bronze before we pass. So if he passes here, what do we do? We go like Banka into you know, Tram Board. That's enough. That's 7 plus 7, 14. Now does this this would still run ball, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, especially in all the play the hunter. The hunter caught us. Uh this might be really hard to win, but we have to pass here. Our hand was terrible. Like if we needed stuff like justice, break snap, and we can actually push the round quite a bit, maybe even win it. And this hand was absolutely uh, hard. Might be in trouble. So Oof. definitely, I, I would probably just move both of them. Uh, it, it might be really hard to get them out of this game. All right. Well, at least we got the Shiru possibility. Yeah, we will. We, we, we he wants a long out. round, though, right? If he's playing Ball and Ramon and shit. Yeah. Definitely. So we just yeah. purify. We just purify. Let their blood break their bones and spirit. The time of the white.
frost and white light is nigh. Nah. We're gonna have to call into Farvin to rebuke to set up a forest protector, which is a bit inconvenient because we might miss our aeration and then. Yeah. Missing the justice hurt too. Yeah. We're, uh, bit, we're, mean, we're bitching and our hell hand is gold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> So he goes. Be fair, the rest of the so he goes Ramon. He would, maybe he just passes. Maybe he just says screw it. That would be a celebration, yeah, I think. I think if he bleeds now, he might be in trouble because we just kill everything. Yeah, I have a really good hand to defend that lead. Yeah, he's, he's not that's sure. We just take the uh, carryover, or do we want that too? No, no, no. no. We want we we want the fakes. I think I think we just play them all over. Madanka can be decent. We can help us like set up something for shield. Well, if he's double ball, I don't know how you fit double ball with. Well, I kind of don't care if he's double ball. Ah, I guess he can assire the, the peon though. Hmm. Okay, definitely move the shield. And the sentinel. Uh, yeah, the sentinel. Okay. Right. Nice. So we could still that's get Ethne. So we still get Ethne. Yeah, that's that's a perfect hand actually. That's literally the perfect hand. These we, are the ten we, cards that we want. We got. We got. We go Dunka first, or do we go Phrynex first? I think we go Phrynex in that and just bop the fourth. Should have a Vincent. We want to set up like the, the uh, Yanni Triads early. We probably, we might even go H in the next turn. Because we are likely to use our Rebuke Sally and then we just want to get the value from the nature cards. And Symbiosis. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I think we just go Aethne here, yeah. call in to Aethne. Call in the Aethne? We're stacking, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Do we play around assassination? Mm, I there... mean, this placement is fine. I'm actually curious if she's gonna take the Vincent here, or like Invocation. Let's see. She takes the Vincent and our Danka might be safe. Well, he doesn't. Or he used least. one. He used both amnesties, so he's done with those. He, he, I mean, he's. He, he might also play Province. Oh, okay. Uh, I think this is easy, Danka. Then. Uh, we just force him to invocate the Danka, and then the Trianbor is a threat. Yeah, we play it here. Uh, we want to. Uh, okay. Probably wanted to play on assassination to be fair. Well, we did, didn't what? we? Oh, oh, I'm, I'm thinking of treason. I'm thinking of treason. <laughs> I mean, he shouldn't have assassination. I would say. I was thinking treason, friend here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's gonna end up using Invocation on it, and then if he doesn't have a lock, he might struggle with answering the war. Right now, he didn't establish like any threats, that play any enforcers or anything, so... Right. It's good for us, because we developed our engines already, right. before he did, and now we're just ready to like kill everything. Oh! Philippe. Huh? So we just kill that with. Do we use the protector to kill it? Do we play rebuke yet? Uh, we don't have a rebuke in the graveyard, so we can. We we just use the rebuke here. We don't have that option. I mean, that there was one option, which was Danka and ping into Trian Bor, but like he didn't answer the Danka, so that kind of tells us that he's probably not gonna answer it at all. So we might as well just get some engine wine. 
One, two, three, four, five. Can we overswarm in this? Is this a possibility? Uh, if that giant pinks go wrong, oh, we that can. sucks. He's gonna play the three damage guy. The yep. the really house. there though. Uh, I mean, no we just use the I'll remain unseen. Be assured. So we just force protector and kill this, huh? Uh, I think we just use the down cupping and on the Brafens and we just go jump over here. Establish on the I would have killed the symbiosis things. Yeah. If you didn't kill to. this, like, why bother? Like, what do you get out of it? Yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure we're actually not gonna go for shield. We have a lot of fire. No, yeah, they, yeah. Without any way to set it up, it's just gonna be. Yeah. Mm. It's just gonna be too hard for him. And we yeah. got another rebuke here. So if he goes, he should go ball now, right? You would think. I would have played it like a while ago. Really. So Beagle. Is this just another Rusty Mage? I don't know, this looks like a very con. She's playing an emissary. That's weird. So we're going back row, we just played the Justice, huh? Nothing's. Yeah. We, we probably play just into. Probably go Justice into the Miner. Miner? Yeah, because he shouldn't have a Joust. And even if he does, it's a shit card. And we have like an option now to play Shield in the sevens, technically. Which can be useful. Like, we can hit this Vigo to seven. Maybe he plays like a Fergus or something. He's a spy deck after us. So he locks. Yeah. Sure. Man, this might be the. If, if we lose to this hand, so he's got. Uh, Vanamore. Do we we just buff up the Dryad, right? Um, yeah, I I don't. I think we can. Hmm. What are our options from the council? Uh, Probably just go for the Dwarf, right? Yeah, Never go for the Marauder, it. right? Yeah, I think we can just. Yeah, we can just go for the Dwarf. Uh, so if the Shan spawns in the front, because it's gonna spawn because before we play the Marauder, then we the go on the back row. But if the Shan spawns in the back row, then we go on the front row. What if he Close. plays? What if he plays? Uh... Roderick into Joachim. Then then we can still get a lot of units on the back row. We probably should play around Rotator. So here. Got a hearty hankering for Gwent. He did have the tourney joust. Really? And he didn't use it on the miner. Okay. That's weird. Okay. Uh I mean I guess we can just rebuke the four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we go front row. Um, are we playing fob or are we playing force? I pick? think it kind of doesn't matter what we play. I guess we can play fob because we have an option to go for caress or forest protector if we really need to. We can play front row. Like we, we can also just slam the oak next turn, even if the chance was here. I just don't think he wins. Man. Oh wait, he answered the dryad. Oh, I completely forgot about it. Okay, so then we always play in the front. Right, right, right. Yeah, there's nothing spawning no more. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, he I still know. has Joachim and Roderick possibly. He just didn't draw a ball, I guess. Does he even play ball? This is ball, right? He snapped that roll. Yeah. 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 So this is easy for us, protector in the front row. Ah, do we go front? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't think we do. I think he's gonna play. 
Joachim. Yeah, yeah we can play around Joachim. We only lose the points if he doesn't have Joachim. Yeah, sure. Joachim is like one of the better cards he could have in his hand. Same, we're just we protector and. In... Yeah, I just killed the bank. Should be an easy game here. We're up 35 points. How does. Yeah. This list has I mean, he gets, to, he gets to kill a. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, okay, Usurper. That's a strong play. Nothing more. Watch him go five head and not pull him back. Oh. <laughs> Alright. We just kill that Usurper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I. I I think we should be fine. I don't know. Uh, it, it, it depends. He might have Joachim into something crazy, right? Like Joachim into... Uh, he gets... So the second scenario pro gets him 13 points by itself because of the assimilate. Yeah, it's Joaquin. It has to be. So he, he needs a 19 point card. Okay, I think we win. He needs a 19 point Iristomer card. So he needs a 19 point Joachim here to tie. No, no, to win. Yeah, this is... This is not... Give me my son. Nope. It's close. But not close enough. Yeah. He knew that an 18-point aristocrat tie and 19 to win. Probably not possible, honestly. Alright.